Namaste. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Strong Like Silk. I'm Stacy Lee Krauss, SLK in Silk. Today's class is Wall Yoga. Today will be my last day before I leave for India. I'm excited and scared and all the things. Not really scared, but a little bit, you know. The unknown is always just a little bit. Even though I know where I'm going, sometimes when we don't know exactly what's about to happen, we kind of freeze a little bit. And what I do know about going to India is practicing just going with the flow, just going with it. You know? So as we move through different postures today, especially when we get upside down, try to relax into it and just be. You know? Be and forgive yourself if you're feeling not perfect or if you're feeling wobbly or if it feels hard for you, just, I forgive you, you're okay. Um, also wanna bring up a little sense of gratitude today. We've got our last class before Thanksgiving here in the U.S. And so a little bit of gratitude sprinkled into this class. I'm also so grateful for you. Thank you for those who come to the live stream, specifically Fiorella and Sabrina from Italy, who have been here with me for four years, almost every day, almost every single class. So grateful for you. Because without you, I would not have continued. There were plenty of days I would not have continued. So thank you so much. Beyond, beyond, beyond. And to all of you who stay in touch and who come into the live streams and who use our um, on-demand videos on a regular basis, I'm so thankful for you. You allow me to do what I love. So thank you for your continued uh, support and appreciation. I appreciate you. So once I get out to India, I'll get settled. And um, after about two weeks or so, I'll be in touch and I'll let you know when I'll be teaching because this year I will at least one day a week. Let's see how it goes. All right, so for wall yoga today, uh, set up just like this with your mat up against the wall. Okay, you can pull it up just a little bit on the corner to protect our knees. If you have a small hand towel, bring it into your space. If you have a yoga block, bring it into your space. And we'll begin sitting crisscross legged on the floor against the wall. I just got Foxy's paperwork. It was just approved this morning. Wow, nothing like waiting till the last minute, putting some stress on things. Yeah, so Foxy is all ready to go on her big adventure. <laughs> crisscross legs, scoot into the corner. Feel your back against the wall and then take a moment to move your whole spine onto the wall. It's your wall. It's your support. Ah, doesn't that feel good? So leaning back, please close your eyes. Inhale deeply. And with a long, deep sigh, You could say, self, the next 45 minutes are all about you. A deep breath in and a long exhale. With your eyes closed, bring your attention to the base of your spine and anchor your spine into the floor. Feel the wall behind you. Bring your attention to the very next bone above your sacrum, draw it to the wall, and you'll begin to move up your spine bone by bone. Right away, the sensations in your lower back, you feel the need to engage your abdominals. Bone by bone, moving up your spine, widening your ribs, widening your shoulders, flattening through the back of your neck, tuck your chin down just a bit, reach through the crown of your head. Notice how active this posture feels. Notice how easy it is to breathe as you inhale and draw your air up your spine. As you exhale and wash your air down your spine. Inhale, draw in life giving energy. Exhale, washing away byproducts. We 
with your eyes closed. As you inhale, open the nostrils, your nostrils. And feel the coolness around the edges of your nose. Exhale, the warmth washing down you and releasing. With your eyes closed, bring your hands to your heart and namaskar. As you inhale, stretch your arms overhead and press your thumbs back behind you. Hold here, inhale. And exhale. Keep your left arm up, bring your right hand down by your side. Press your palm into the floor and now stretch over to the right side. Please anchor your left hip onto the ground. Stretching from your fingertip down to your hip. Roll your head up and press your left ear into the wall. Roll your head back to center. Bring your left hand down to your right knee. Now twist your body to the right side of the room. Scoop your belly and tuck your chin. Scoop deeper. Tuck in a little bit stronger. Feel your spine stretching. Feel your torso rotating. A few deep breaths here, going deeper with each exhale. Softening from this posture, soften all your muscles. Unroll your spine and turn back to center. Just observe. Bring your hands to your heart space, namaskar. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, press your thumbs into the wall. Press, press back. Notice the strengthening sensation in the back of your shoulders. Breathing deeply, continuing to press. On your next exhale, you can melt your left hand down, place it on the floor, slide your fingers over to the left side of the room, reach through your fingers, press through your right hip. Bring your elbow up and see if you can touch the wall. Roll your head so that your right ear is pressed against the wall. Taking stock of how you feel today, the sensations in your body. Roll your head back to center. And now your top hand will come over to your left knee. Twist your body, tuck your chin, round your spine. Scooping your belly. Soften from this posture. Return back to the center. Sit tall, lengthen your spine again. Just observe. Press your elbows into the wall with your palms up so your arms are by your sides. Exhale and press your elbows in and lift your heart away from the wall. Lift your heart forward and up. Tilt your chin. Lift your chin. Open your eyes, look towards the ceiling. Open your chest more and more and more. A deep breath in. A long exhale. Now find a little sparkle in your eyes. Bring a big smile to your face. Inhale, exhale. Gently soften. Roll your head to the right. Press your ear to the wall. Roll your head to the left. 
press your ear to the wall. Inhale in the center, exhale and press your ear. Inhale to the center, exhale, press your ear. Let's do one more set, moving your neck so you can breathe more freely. <sighs> roll back to the center, please. And now roll onto your knees and let's come forward to our hands and knees at tabletop. Fold your toes under, foot fold, and slide your feet back to the wall. Now reach back with your fingers underneath your toes. Number three, number four, five, lay your toes out flat and then reach back with your left hand. Same thing, lay your toes out. So now your feet are pressed flat onto the wall. Your hands are out in front of you. Exhale, lift your knees off the floor. You're pressing your butt onto the wall. So lift your knees, round your spine, tuck your chin. Knees are off the floor. And now soften. So we're doing little abdominal crunches here, okay? Exhale, crunch, round, tuck your chin. Inhale, release. Exhale, round, tuck your chin, round your back, and release. Again, two more times. Exhale, scoop your belly as deeply as you can. Round your upper back as much as you can. Tuck your chin, and release. Last time, exhale, round your spine, scoop as deeply as you can. And release, lower your knees down. Return to tabletop. Exhale, hover your knees, long spine. So you're just simply hovering your knees. Lift one hand and then lift the other hand. So you'll feel the effort mostly in your quadriceps, maybe in your calf muscles. Lift one hand, lift one hand. You're practicing being light. So easy, lift a hand. Lift a hand, your feet are pressed into the wall, and now you can walk your hands forward and find plank pose. A nice long line from the top of your head into your feet, which are pressed against the wall. Keep your feet on the wall, keep your legs straight. Walk your hands back, downward facing dog, stretching your hamstrings. Let's take a few steps forward to plank. And then walk back to downward facing dog. Walk forward. Walk back. Walk forward. And now, Bend your knees, lay on your stomach, elbows on the floor, sphinx pose. Engage your seat, arch your spine. So peel your eyes up, your chin up, your chest up. Feet are still pressed into the wall. Feel the extension of your spine. Lower your chest down. Push your body up and back, child's pose. Up and back, child's pose. Slide your hand in towards your body, roll up to your knees. Engage your seat, so press your hips forward. Bring your thumbs to your shoulders, stretch up. Arms come to a V position, be like victory. Press your thumbs back behind you, arch once again. Lift your hands up the wall, bring your hands down to your heart. 
Okay, so now I'd like you to come forward, slide your knees onto the wall. So your knees are in the corner, your feet are up. So that looks comfy. Very nice. So comfortable. Okay. So your legs are parallel to one another. Your knees are in the corner. Your body's creating a long straight plank, right? Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders, spin your elbows backwards. So your elbows are pointed towards the wall behind you. Be light, light on your fingers. We're going to do a little mini push up here. So a little chaturanga, chest comes down, exhale, press back up. Yep, keep your body in a straight line. We'll lower down, exhale up. So some of you know this as a Pilates push up, right? We're focused on our triceps. So your elbows are very close to your body. Exhale, push up. Maybe a combination of a Pilates push up and a chaturanga. Let's do two more of these. Take it down, exhale. <sighs> Pressing through your palms. It's more about muscle memory than it is strength. We'll do it one more time. Exhale, press up. <sighs> now step your left foot out to the side. Left foot comes out. Yeah, I'm going left today. I just thought maybe after all of these years I should do this leg first, right? <laughs> Okay, toe heel your foot forward, 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 but you're keeping it off to the side. Now sink your right hip down, so your right hip comes closer to the mat. There you go. You might want to place a block. I always prefer placing a block under my other hand. That's optional. It's just a little more comfortable. And then you bring your inside hand to your thigh. Open your hip. Sink your hip. So now a little bit of flexibility in the frontal plane for our left side, in the sagittal plane for our right side. Yeah. Opening your hip, sinking into the posture, relaxing. You can lift your left hand up, wrap it around your torso, and twist towards the back wall. Smile. Unwrap and unwind. Toe, heel your foot into the center. And lift your block up. Lift your torso upright. Just enjoy this deep stretch through your quadricep. You can stay here or take it further. Scoot closer to the wall. Hold on to your heel. Elbows on the wall. Your head comes back. Please take a deep breath in. And a long exhale. Breathing and allowing, breathing and allowing. Eyes front, move the block, bring your hands down, replace your knee. Add a chaturanga push up. Right foot comes out to the side. And once you bring your right foot out to the side, then you can move your block underneath your left hand. Yep. So your toes are pointed out to the side wall, just slightly like a 45 degree angle. Okay. And then you press your knee open. You expose the sole of your foot. You sink your hips forward. So deep stretch in your quad. This is kind of a preparation for the next exercise, right? And here, you're just opening your hip, letting go, letting go. <sighs> I've been doing a, a little bit of research into our DNA, genetics, and epigenetics, finding, learning about what we carry in us, 
physically, emotionally, even intellectually. And it turns out 14 generations create what is standing here today, 14 generations. So all those genes, all the people, all the places and the events that those people have been through, we carry with us. So as we open our hips and think about our ancestors, we can lovingly say, I forgive you, I forgive you. And then just let go of the tension from our hips. It's a practice, but it's a beautiful practice. Yeah, it really is. Oh, did we wrap? We did wrap. Wrap and twist. Wrap and twist. Wrap and twist. And smile and breathe and allow. And now we return back to the center, please. And then toe heel your foot in. So the foot comes right into the center. You can flip your block up. And Ed, your hands are just on your thigh or your hand is on your block. All right, shoulders are back. You're feeling strong. If you'd like to move further, you slide your foot in. You shift your body weight towards the wall, holding your heel. Your elbows come to the wall. You rest your head and a great big smile. Inhaling and exhaling. Now look forward, bring your hands forward. You'll simply bend your knee, bend your knee, and then slide your left foot away from the wall. Slide your foot fold into the corner once again. Hover your knees and downward facing dog. Here in downward facing dog, open up your eyes, look at your feet. Notice that deep foot fold that you have. So nice. And now lift your left leg up onto the wall behind you. You can foot fold or place your foot flat. I'm foot folding today. A foot fold will give you a little bit more leverage and you can bend your right leg and then straighten your right leg. Bend and straighten. So think more about hamstring length on your right leg than the top leg. We're focused on your right leg right now. Bend and straighten one more time. Bend and straighten. And now eyes come forward. Look towards the front of the mat. Your left leg steps all the way forward for a big lunge. There you go. Okay, keep your foot fold in the back. Walk your hands up to your thigh. High lunge. Sink your knee down. Is Fiorella okay? Are we good? Okay. Oh, you're over there. Okay. Yep. Okay. High lunge. Sweep both arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers and stretch, stretch, stretch towards the back. Reaching towards the wall. Feel the wobble. Arms come up, hands whoop, to your heart, and now pivot your back foot so that now your pinky edge is on the wall. Warrior feet and twist just a few times. Twist forward and back, forward and back. Now organize your shoulders towards the front of your mat and reach up the warrior one. Eyes on your hands, lengthen your arms. Bring your hands down to your heart, elbows high, twist to your left and tuck your elbow to the outside of your thigh. Towards the ceiling. Inhaling. 
exhaling. Slowly lift your body back up. Let's cartwheel your arms open. The warrior two. Peaceful warrior. With your hand on the back wall, sinking deeper into your lunge. Straighten your front leg. Reach and maybe you'll touch the back wall. Cartwheel your arms, extended side angle, front hand, front thigh, open up. Straight line from your fingertip to your foot. Slide your hand down to your heart, twist towards your front leg, sweep out, hinge down. The humble warrior, you can interlace your fingers if you'd like, lift your hands up and over your head. You know where we're going next. Your hands come down to the floor. Pivot your back foot. Inhale. As you exhale, give yourself a small bounce. Lift your leg up the wall. Turn your toes towards the right side of the room. Half moon pose. If you prefer, you can place your left hand on a block. Do your best to straighten both legs. And now stretch your right hand up towards the ceiling, slowly taking your time, gazing upward towards your hand. Fold your arm down, both hands on the floor. Turn your toes towards the ground, both hands down. Give yourself a little bounce if you'd like, and then press your left leg up onto the wall. L stand. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I didn't want to go without you, Fiorell, already. Set, L stand on the wall. Lengthening through your legs, lengthening through your spine. Hands underneath your shoulders. Make those micro adjustments if you like. If you want to, you can lift your right leg up. Roll your ankle in one direction. Finding your peace and calm. Finding your strength. One more round of breath. Swing your right leg down to the floor in the center of your mat. Bring your left foot to meet your right foot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up and reach up the mountain pose. Exhale, lifted back bend. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, touch your heart and fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold and hold. Walk your feet back to downward facing dog. Your right leg comes up, the, nope. Your left leg, oops, your left leg comes up the wall with a foot fold. Bend your left leg, straighten your left leg. Bend and straighten, inhaling and exhaling. Once more, straighten your leg. Lift your right leg high and then step forward onto the mat. Shimmy your foot into the center of the mat. Walk your hands to your thigh. Come up slowly. Whoop. There we 
we go, and bend your back leg. My new favorite song, this one. Together, please pivot your back foot and then twist a few times. Moving your shoulders towards your front knee and then hold. Reach your arms up overhead, please. The warrior one. Hands stay together. Fold your arms down. Twist to your right. Tuck your elbow to the outside of your knee. Twist, eyes up, look up. As you simultaneously press the pinky edge of your foot into the floor, you should feel a deep inner thigh stretch. Feels so good. Untwisting, coming back up to the center, please. Open up the warrior two. Hand on the wall. Peaceful warrior. Hand on the wall. Straighten your front leg. Reach for the wall. Stretch backwards. Big spinal stretch. Eyes up and smile. We get to exercise today. Front ham, front thigh. Bend your leg. Extended side angle. Sweep your arm back, the humble warrior. So you can sweep back, hinge forward. You can keep your hands back or interlace your hands and just dive your head down. Place your hands onto the floor, framing your front foot, please. Give yourself a little bounce and lift your leg up the wall. Toes pointed to the left side of the room. Allow your two feet to intersect. If you'd like to, you can place a block in front of your foot. Otherwise, just place your right hand down. Start to slide your left arm up. First touch your heart and then reach. Beautiful balance. Ladies, you guys look great. Your top arm floats back down. Two feet on, or two hands on the floor. Turn your toes down towards your mat. You could bend your leg if you like to. Give yourself a little bounce and then press up, L stand. Opening your fingers wide. Evenly distributing the weight between the heels of your hand and your fingertips. If you'd like to, you can lift your left leg up high into the air. Roll your ankle a couple times. As you feel your body tremble, building strength, you're exhaling. One more round of breath here. Bending your left leg, you'll step your foot forward on the mat. Your right foot comes to meet that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up the mountain pose. Exhale, lifted back bend. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, touch your heart and now step back towards the wall and simply lean back. Take a moment of Shavasana. Slow your heart, deepen your breath.
Just observe. When you're ready, you can blink your eyes open. And now we'll melt down to the ground and spin around, put our legs up the wall. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's good. Come forward. And I hope you have a little bit more room on your wall. I think that's why you just moved, right? Yep. So for anyone new, putting our legs up the wall can be a little bit clumsy feeling, right? So you could just come to the side like I am. And then especially if you have more room than this, you'll kick one leg up. And then it's like a cartwheel up the wall. You'll kick your other leg up, spin your body. and then simply shimmy, shimmy your butt into the wall. Fold your legs, your feet on the floor, your knees bent. Reach your fingers towards the wall. And now lift your hips high. Bring all your weight to your shoulders. You'll feel your chin tuck down. Just hold this posture. So you're engaging the muscles of your seat, your butt cheeks, to keep your hips lifted high, but your focus is resting your body weight across your shoulders. And now walk your feet up the wall so that your legs are straight. Reverse plank, point your toes. Simply breathing and allowing. Breathing and allowing. Fold your legs, step your feet in. Bone by bone, roll your body to the floor. Relax your hips down. Bring the soles of your feet together and slide right into butterfly. Press your knees out wide. Press your knees towards the wall. Say, ooh, this feels so good. <sighs> she sang in the song, I'm alive and well. Be well. Slide your hands underneath your thighs. Slide your legs up the wall. And now open your legs up in straddle. I really miss my old studio with all my space. Hopefully you've got a lot of space. Let your legs sink out. Press your hips onto the wall. Use the advantage of gravity and the wall to help move you deeper and deeper and deeper into your straddle. Stretch your arms into the center of the room. Reach through your fingertips. Fold your arms so that one elbow is in each hand. Press your forearms onto the top of your head. Inhale. A long exhale. <sighs> Stretch your arms into the middle of the room, reaching through your fingertips. As you do this, slide your legs apart just a little bit more. Take up just an extra millimeter, one on either side. And then fold your arms again, the opposite arm on top. I am, I am. I'm grateful more than I ever been. Mm -hmm. 
is ungrateful Fall to the brim Last round of breath here. I am grateful. Reach your arms overhead, please. Sweep your arms out wide like a great big snow angel. Hands underneath your thighs. Help your legs up into the center. Scoot into the wall. Deep flexion in your ankles. Spread your toes as much as you can. Press and spread and spread and spread. And now, simply relax. Arms by your side, palms wide open to receive the abundance of gratitude, forgiveness, intimacy, passion, and want to preserve in your life. It's all yours. Deep breath in, a long exhale. Blink your eyes open, please. And to dismount, you'll slide one leg all the way down the wall to the side. And then allow your other leg to slide on top of it, roll onto your side, fetal position. So safe, so comfortable. And you'll use your top hand to push you up to a side saddle posture. And we'll finish up just the same way we started. Crisscross your legs, come into the wall. Take a moment to observe the sensations in your body, the warmth and the openings, the strength and the commitment. You can place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on top of that. Take a deep breath in and say, self, I'm so proud of you for showing up today. You breathe deep, you moved your body, you smiled, you affirmed yourself. You're a slightly different person than you were just one hour ago and you're moving in the right direction. It was such an honor and privilege to be your guide today, especially today. Very, very grateful for you. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for joining me. Namaste. Ooh, I'm a little bit emotional right now.